Hi, how are you? Very well, how are you? Fine, thank you, fine, thank you. Nice to have you on here. So, could you please um, introduce yourself to the audience, please? My name's Gloria Jemidefe. Um, okay. I'm president and founder of the Rewrite Nigeria Development Initiative, uh, an, NGO, an NGO, a non-governmental organization um, situated in Lagos, uh, Nigeria. Okay, fantastic. Well, I, I was at one of your events in Lagos um, in December 2019, and um, it was a good um, show of support and performance. So, um, like I was saying, so I was quite impressed with um, uh, the performance you guys put up. Uh, it was in a kind of nice environment, and the theme was very good as well. Could you just, just sort of talk us through what brought about that idea for you? Okay. Um, okay. Um, you know, uh, that event was actually the 12 days of Christmas, and you were there, I remember. Yes. And that happened to be the 12th day. Okay. So um, now, when I began this whole process in 2015, uh, we started small scale, you know, we, you know, just visit neighborhoods, that had, you know, less privileged children and all of that. But then in 2019, we decided to step up a bit. And then uh, we decided to say, okay, let's narrow it down to communities and let's see what impact the Rewrite Nigeria can make on, you know, vulnerable children in, you know, such communities. And so I said to myself, um, let, let, let's dare to do something different. And so that's how we came up with um, 12 Days of Christmas, which is um, an event that's a, that runs for 12 days every year in December. And then we have, you know, different things we do on each day. You know, some days were for medicals, some days were for, you know, different empowerment schemes. You know, that was the whole plan for last year. And then round it up on the 12th day with, you know, a fundraiser. But like 2019 was our first. So yeah, basically that's what we that's the futuristic plan for 12 okay. days of christmas yeah oh fantastic so how did you come about um setting everything together because i i mean pato rankin were, was there and you have um, some other patrons that were there as well you had quite yeah. um good uh number of people turn up uh, the, the setting was quite um it was really nice how did that come Thank about you uh, it was a lot of hard work. Um, a few collaborations here and there. We had uh, companies that believed in us. We had sponsors. Very few. We, we, it was supposed to be, you know, bigger than that. But I must say, you know, like you noticed, it was a, a job well done being our first, you know, outing. So we had partners, um, people that were willing to collaborate with these people that actually believed in the project and we're ready to collaborate with us. Um, so it was, it, was, it was a whole, it was a network of a lot of people that really wanted to see our vision come to light. That's how we came about that 12th day. Like that venue um, was uh, by Slippery Entertainment. So I'd, so I'd give you Slippery, for example, they played a huge role in putting together that whole night you know, um, and then we had, uh, yeah, and then of course, okay. you mentioned Pato Rankin. He's got very good management and uh, his management really, you know, were very, um, they were very instrumental to that night because his manager did a lot to see that, you know, he came for that event. I'd really like to give it to um, his management. She did a lot to okay. see, you know, he performed that night. Yeah, so we had good um, people we had people who were really interested in what we were about what we, were, what we wanted to see come to pass okay okay brilliant could you please tell us what um your organization does what, what what who do you cater for and what sort of changes are you looking to make in their lives our primary concern are the children in the slums but okay you see um you can't i always say this anytime I'm asked this question, you can't take away the child from its, from their parents. 
So we had to find a way to empower the parents while trying to help the okay. children. So that's what, if, if you look, the whole, the whole thing is about getting, situating the parents and seeing that the mm. parents are able to also help, you know, take care of their children. We're not, um, yeah, as much as the children are our primary concern, we have to find a way to strike a balance so okay. that's how come we have the parents drawn into the whole project. Now, what we want to do is, you, you know, children in the slums, and I'm going to come back to present what's happening right now. We're in the lockdown. Things are changing. You know, yeah, hello. You said yeah. you were talking about so schools. schools are, yeah. You know, are, are being at, yeah. No, I'm bringing it back, you know, from 2019 to where we are today. Okay, um, that's fine. Schools are being advised to go online. They're being encouraged to go online. A child in the slum has mm. no hope of education. You see, mm. now I brought it back to what we knew was, you know, happening. So I'd like to bring, bring it to present day situation. There's no hope for any child in the slum because they don't even know how to operate a computer. They have no knowledge mm. of the internet. They have, you know, they're just, uh, I must say, at zero level. Because they don't have, mm. there's so much poverty. Poverty is so deep in the slums. So we wanted to change the whole dynamics. I am an advocate mm. of moving these people out of those areas. Situating okay. them in a more comfortable. Because let me tell you, if you mm. give these people a better life, a comfortable home, provide a, a mm. community school, a community health center, what they'd be facing, if not, you know, the help of the almighty and the fact that this pandemic it hasn't hit, and I pray will not hit Nigeria as hard as, you know, it's hitting Europe and other countries. Those people are finished. So mm -hmm. I never knew that we'd come to this point. Nobody ever, you know, we all plan, everybody had plans, we're always planning, we're in 2020, we're trying to strategize how 12 days yes. of Christmas 2020 is going to be, and then we're hit by the pandemic. So you see, the whole thing yeah. has changed, but reality has hit us. The same thing I'm talking about, moving these, pe these people out of the slums, for me, is the best option. Yes. A lot of people are doing stuff right now, and I'm really proud of them. We're doing stuff in the background, you know, sending money, yeah. sending food as much as we can and all of that. But I keep saying that's not the solution. That's not the solution. We need to find a lasting and realistic solution to the children and families that come from these slums. Yes. Basically, um, that's what, you know, our passion, that's, that's the passion of the Rewrite Nigeria Development Initiative. How long have you started at this whole project? And um, what parts of Lagos or Nigeria have you been able to cover? I mean, I'm just trying to find, figure out the logistics. Okay. Let me start with when um, the Rewrite Nigeria was incorporated in 2015. We came out okay. strong, real strong in 2019. I, I mean, like with a definite, you know, intention to see that we deliver. The original yeah. intent was to deliver one to go one community at a time. But we yes. realized, you know, you say these things, but until you get into it, you don't really know what mm -hmm. it's going to take or how it's going to turn out. Yeah. When I did my okay. whole evaluation of okay. the event in 2019, where we are, where we are, what we've done, for me, just jumping mm. into the next community hasn't um, defined yeah. our goals at all. So um, we said, you know, my team and I, we said we don't leave White Sands until we deliver White Sands, if you get what I mean. Until we see okay. the vision for White Sand come to reality, you don't just jump into another community. So we're looking forward. A lot even ha a lot happened even after that event, and uh, and that made us. Uh, they had okay. They had a fire outbreak in spite of all the problems you know they were having, and we were trying to solve okay. the great fire outbreak. A lot went wrong with them. So we decided, and that's where you know the idea changed. We don't just jump and say, okay, we're doing this community, that community. You know, we stay on a community and make sure we deliver the mandate for that community and then we launch the next community. 
Okay. So for the oh, white yeah. sands, what sort of thing? That's it. Okay. So for the white sands, what sort of um, um, things were you able to do uh, with them, for them, and what did you deliver there? Okay. Um, we started with um, the usual, the basics, taking food, uh, okay. taking clothing and all of that. You know, those, were, those are the basics that, but like I said, it doesn't, you don't teach them how to, you don't keep giving them fish, you need to teach them how to fish. So yeah. um, the event, we, I, I must tell you, we didn't raise the kind of funds we really wanted to raise. Uh, we didn't see mm. what we really expected as successful as that event was. So it makes, mm -hmm. we, we now had to go back to the drawing board. We were able to deliver medicals. At least um, they had very good medicals. We had partners like MedPlus, Nigeria. They were fabulous, you know. And then after the event, all we could really do was give cash. Goes back to the mm. same thing. They'll spend that money and, you know, nothing is really... All, the, the imp we haven't um, impacted them as much as we really want to. So, yeah, we're changing strategies. Mm. We're re-strategizing for 2020, going back to them. And then um, we have it all planned. It's unfortunate that uh, we're being locked down. But, yeah, we're still working behind the scenes. We have partners who, you know, we talk and, you know, we're working. We're hoping the lockdown eases up and let's see how things go in Nigeria. And let's see, because now everybody's understanding what I'm saying. They need to be moved Absolutely. out. Absolutely. They need mm. to be moved out. We can't just keep taking food to them. No, it's not going to help them. 